Okay, morning everybody. So we have some intervals today. Um, it's quite an easy structure. The first two tracks we're warming up and then um, we have four interval tracks, a hill climb, four more interval tracks and then we're done. So there's good and bad about the intervals. At the time it feels not so great but it's really good for fitness for anything really, increasing your metabolism. So do what you can, make sure you've got enough resistance. At the end of the interval you should be out of breath. Heart rates between 75% and 85% except on those intervals they will go higher, upper 80s into 90s. Right, let's get going. The first track is called Viva La Vida. Three, two, one, and play. Make sure you've got some resistance on the wheel. Relax your arms and shoulders. Knees and toes tracking forward. you go up. You need to have pressure to push against. If you don't have enough, 
Good, and so feel it so they're running away. Okay, stop the music. The next track is called Summer Cat. Um, Summer Cat, three, two, one, and play. RPM between 70 and 80. Medium heel. Make sure you've got enough resistance. 70 to 80. One more increase. Let's go up. Weight over your pedals. Keep those legs bent. Saddle. Add a touch more. Up you go. Saddle. When we change positions to a climb, bend from your hips. Hand position three, climbing. tracks. So the first track, so there's four intervals before we hit that hill. So this one, we're in the saddle, staying in the saddle. RPM is um, 70 to 80 and then on that interval maximum 110. So 70 to 80, medium heel, and then picking up the pace, staying in the saddle. If once you pick up the pace and you zoom past 110, just add more resistance. Make sure you're in control. The three intervals, 20, 15 seconds, first two, and 10 seconds. So we're just easing into this. This is why it's quite pleasant. Right, it's called She's So Lovely. Three, two, one, and play. She's so lovely. Make sure you've got some resistance. RPM around 80. Make sure you've got some resistance. Add a bit more. Are you ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Glue yourself to the saddle, maximum one turn. Slow down, pull it back. Breathing. Add a touch 
So. Second interval is coming up. Make sure you've got enough resistance for picking up the pace. Are you ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Maximum one ten. Slow down, pull it back. Breathing. RPM around eighty. Add a touch ball. We have one more interval on this track. Add a bit more. Final interval coming up. into the intervals. The next track, we out in a climbing position. Um, three intervals again, dropping back into the saddle, picking up the pace. So on that interval, maximum 110 again. So the first interval is 15 seconds, second one, 25, and last one also around 25 seconds. So deep breaths, climbing, dropping back in the interval, picking up the pace. At the end of the interval, you will be out of breath. You should be out of breath. If not, just add a bit more resistance. RPM between 70 and 80. So it's called shine. Three, two, one, and play. Shine. 70 to 80 RPM. Add your Resistance, find your rhythm. Add a bit more, let's go up. Find your rhythm. Add some more if you need to. First interval coming up. Are you ready? Three, two, one, drop, let's go. Maximum 110. Slow down, pull it back. Up, 70 to 80. Breathing, weight of your pedals, bending from the hips. Add a touch more. Second interval coming up. Ready? Let's go. Slow down, 
pull it back. Up, breathe in. Add a touch more if you can. We have one more interval. Are you ready? Three, two, one, drop, let's go. If you drop back in the saddle, maximum 110. Jumps position or in the saddle on those intervals. Heart rate will go up at the end of the interval, upper 80s, maybe even 90s. Now, three, two, one, play. I don't feel like dancing. Climbing, 76. Add your resistance. I don't feel like dancing. Three intervals. RPM around 76. Oh, it's not, I'm getting it all wrong. At 70, RPM around 70. Add a touch more. First interval coming up, either jumps or in the saddle. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. 100 if you're up, 110 in the saddle. Keep those legs bent. Keep going. Heart rate's going up. Slow down, pull it back. Climbing. 70 RPM. Around 70 RPM. Second interval coming up. 35 seconds. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Bend those legs. Weight over your pedals. 100 maximum. Breathe in. Let's 
slow down. Climbing. 70. Breathing. One more increase.
76. Breathing. Whew. I can feel it. And as much as you can. Stick to 76. Final track. One minute. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Maximum 100. Weight of your pedals. Keep those legs bent. position. If you're in the saddle, push your hips back. If you're up, weight of your pedal, pedals bend from your hips. Feel the tip of the saddle touching your bottom. So it's called I've got a feeling. Three, two, one, and play. Four minutes. Find your rhythm. Heart rates will probably end around 82%, maybe higher but probably not more than 85%. So we're loading the legs. That's why heart rate's not going super high. Heavy heel, 64. Increase, let's go up. Weight of your pedals if you're up. Around 64 on the beat. Add some more. Use your body weight when you get to that point. Keep those legs soft. Three minutes. One more increase. Oh. 
It's looking good. Keep it dark. One more. One minute. Increase. Pushing up, pulling. Final minute. If you stay in the saddle, you still need enough to be in control of your legs. So three intervals, 20 seconds, and two 16 second ones. It's called crazy. Three, two, one, and play. Add that heel. It's a heavy one. 60 to 70 RPM. Push your hips back in the saddle. Fine. Add more, find your rhythm. Remember, you want a lot of resistance. 60 to 70. Probably closer to 60 than 70. One more increase. First interval coming up, 20 seconds. Ready, three, two, one, let's go. Power, get those legs, those legs going. Keep them bent. Hang in there. Slow down. Pull it back. Saddle. 60 to 70. One more increase. Hips on back. Woo. Second interval coming up. 16 seconds. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Feeling those legs. 
It's not easy. Deep breaths. And stop your music. Just keep taking deep breaths. Three more. The next one, we are staying in the saddle. Just keep breathing. Heart rates will come down. Three more intervals. So staying in the saddle, picking up the pace on the intervals. Maximum 110 RPM. First two intervals, 30 seconds. Third one, 45 seconds. So are we encouraging our fast twitch muscles to wake up and go faster? The older we get, they're not dead, they're just asleep. They just need to be woken up and trained to get back into action. So the more you do this, the quicker they'll wake up and join us in the party. So, three intervals. First two, 30 seconds. Third one, 45 seconds. Stay in the saddle. It's cold, hot, and cold. Three, two, one, and play. Hot and cold. Make sure you've got some resistance. You need to be in control of your legs when we go faster. Maximum 110 on that interval. Add some more. So the actual beat is 63. So it's quite a heavy heel. Add a touch more. First interval coming up. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Resistance 
down, stop the music, good work, have a drink. So, two more tracks, just keep breathing, we still have some recovery time. Two more tracks, we are um, seated, and then on the intervals, you have choices. Uh, oh, sorry, I got that wrong. We're climbing, and on the interval, dropping back in the saddle. So our PM is 72, we're dropping back, picking up the pace. So, there is a trick, because you might think, oh, 72 is not so bad. There are longer intervals, 30 seconds. 50 seconds, back down to 30 seconds. So longer intervals in the saddle, maximum 110. So two more tracks, and then the next track, we're doing the opposite. We in the saddle and going up. Last two tracks, are you ready? 72 RPM, it's called Rockstar. Three, two, one and play, rock star, out the saddle, 72 RPM, add resistance between a medium and a heavy heel, crank it up, let's go up, add more if you need to, weight of your pedals, bending from the hips, Add a bit more. Around 72 RPM. First interval coming up. 30 seconds. Are you ready? Three, two, one, drop, let's go. Maximum 110, 30 seconds.
fire. Have a drink. Deep breaths. Heart rate. Would have reached upper 80s, even 90s. Just keep breathing. Good news. Last track. One more. There's even more good news. They're not too long. All three are 15 seconds. So that's really, and my legs are happy to know that. So we have the saddle, RPM 60. It's a heavy heel, heavy, heavy heel. Our final track, stick to 60. Remember, 60 is our slowest per spinning. So if you go slower, take some resistance down and pick up the pace to go over 60, 60 or over. Three intervals, 15 seconds each. On the interval, you can either stay in the saddle or you can go up. If you do go up, use power, pull up those handlebars, get the legs going and go up and make sure you've got enough resistance. You know what it feels like you're being propelled off the bike. So that's why it's a heavy heel. If you are in the saddle, still grab those handlebars, use power to get those legs going. And hopefully with a bit of power, your legs will get going and then you can maintain that pace. In the saddle, 110 maximum. Out of the saddle, 100. If you do go over those marks, 100 and 110, nothing happens. But because it's our last track, you want so much resistance that you actually struggle to go over those marks. So it's called dynamite. Three, two, one, play. Dynamite, find that beat, around 60 RPM. Crank up that hill. Three minutes. One more. So you're on that heel, pushing and pulling. First interval coming up. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Power. Get those legs going. Slow down, saddle, hips back, around 60, 65. One more increase. Pushing and pulling. Second interval coming up.
back. And just breathe. Excellent work, everyone. Heart rate, well, it's definitely up. So, taking yourself out of your comfort zone definitely speeds up your metabolism because your body doesn't know what it needs to do, so it just fires everything it can. So, your metabolism will be higher for longer during the day. But it's also really important to have good recovery time and good stretching. So, keep pedaling light resistance, keep breathing, and heart rate will come down. And just sit back, take a deep breath in, lift your shoulders, Pushing them back, pushing them down, breathing out, squeeze those shoulder blades, push those shoulders down, breathing out, shoulders all the way down, and breathe all the way out. One more time, deep breath in, lift your shoulders, breathing in, shoulders up, shoulders back, breathing out, shoulders down, squeeze those shoulder blades, pushing your shoulders down, breathe all the way out. One arm across, feel that shoulder stretching. Over your shoulder, elbow back, tricep stretching. Other arm across, other shoulder. your shoulder, elbow back, feeling your tricep stretching, and relax your arms, oh, so slow your legs down, we're getting off the bike, so stand next to your bike, Foot is forward, toes are up on the frame, leaning forward, suck everything in, growing, open up your chest, so you feel your front legs calf stretching, your chest stretch, standing tall, sucking your tummy, just hold it there. Okay, switch legs, other leg in front, same stretch, toes, stretch, toes up. Leaning forward, so feel that calf muscle stretching. Just leaning forward, standing tall. Pulling your tummy, open up your chest. Feel that stretch across your chest. Grab a foot, full quad stretch. Knees together, hip bone forward. Feel the stretch. 